What is up guys, we are back with Berserk Chapter 229, it's called Departure of Flame. Um, last chapter we had the, the witch girl, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name because I just can't, <laughs> so. Uh, but we had her like finally get, like, she found like Guts's, um, like inside the turbulence, she actually found like Guts in there, so hopefully she can like help him out. Um, but yeah, it was crazy just like seeing like getting inside of like guts's like anger and his hatred and all that stuff and seeing like the stuff that still haunts him to this day was like really really cool to see i mean not cool because obviously it was some really terrible shit that's happened to him that he still like keeps inside his memories and stuff like that but um i don't know it was just interesting to see like that stuff you know what the things that haunt him to this day was really interesting to see um but yeah let's get into this get into this chapter let's see how she helps guts um all right so what is this i see this is guts ego my mistress talisman was guarding his ego against collapse um hate anger malice no you mustn't yield to the flow yield yes you'll cease to be yourself you'll be taken into this domain remember remember who you are it doesn't matter. Kill, ruin, murder, war, foe, apostle, foe, friend, Griffith. Of course it matters. Remember, it's hot. The reason you journey, the reason you are fighting now, a human soul wouldn't become this tattered over something that doesn't matter. I mean, the reason he is fighting now is, I mean, well, okay. The reason he's fighting now is for Casca and now the friends that he's made around him to protect them right but before you know all this like he was fighting just for himself so yeah okay that's true so yeah guys remember what you are fighting for uh journey fight reason um all right so now he's looking at serpico and uh yushidoro <laughs> what's that and now he's seeing casca and farnese um, who is that? I know her. Stop. Leave her alone. Remember her. Her name is Casca. Casca. Uh, your name is Guts. The Branded Swordsman Guts. The protector of Casca, the Branded Girl. Alright, now he's snapping out of it. Uh, receive my fire. I really like, like, just how he looks in that armor. So badass, dude. Like, just the design of it. Alright, so receive my armor. Or, my fire. Um, I have no idea what, <laughs> what is going on this page. <laughs> this page right here. Um, Alright, so he just, like, got out of the fire easily. Alright, so he's like, What? Oh shit, and then Guts just finished off the, uh, the demon that was, like, fighting Serpico. So good, dude, like, now he's, like, actually, it worked, dude, he's remembering now, like, you know, why he fights now. It's, like, to protect these people. Um, alright, yeah, so he just protected Serpico and Yushidoro. No, Casca, it's dangerous. Um, and then a fucking sword, like, right through this thing's, like, throat, dude. Let's go, we got Guts back, man. Oh, dude, just, like, the fucking, like, the top of its head splitting, like, going up, and then the bottom of its jaw, like, going down. So gruesome. Um, are you... And the helmet just like went back. Dude, look at his hair. He's got like a patch of white hair now. Guts, how awful. <laughs> Casca's still like, oh. <laughs> She's still mad at him. Dude, look at that panel. Are you kidding me? I wonder why his hair turned white in the first place. <laughs> But Jesus Christ, dude, he looks, like, incredibly beaten up, dude. Like, it, lo it almost looks like, I know it's probably just, like, 
blood, but like it almost looks like his skin like peeled like is peeling away. You know what I mean? Like it's like getting into like it's just like looks like it's flesh. You know what I mean? Like like he was like incredibly burned by something, or just like his flesh is like being peeled off. All right, so next page. He's looking really really sad, dude. Uh, you will not escape. We are gonna burn. It's all right. That's a wall of flame? Mistress. Oh, shit. Dude, this panel. Holy shit. Like, I'm gonna probably, like, during all of these reactions, dude, I feel like this panel right here for, is what I was talking about. But I feel like every one of these videos, there's gonna for sure be one time, every video that I'm gonna be like, dude, that panel, like, every video is gonna have me saying that for sure because... Like, the artwork, like, I haven't said this enough, the artwork in Berserk is, like, incredible, dude. Honestly, it really is. Um, I really hope that, like, the further I progress in this series that it doesn't dip, like, the quality in art doesn't dip, because, like, so far, 230 chapters in, and it's, like, been consistently great all the way through, so I really hope it doesn't dip in quality. Um, alright, so, Mistress, huge... <laughs> You have done well, uh, she, she, Erke. That's the best I'll get for that name. Uh, now go. This force will not last much longer. She's just gonna burn the whole thing down? Um, once the spirit tree burns down, this domain will likely close. No, I won't. I, this place is an interstice where time lingers for the old. This tree and I have both lived quite long. However pleasant the sunshine, the young must not dwell here forever. Um, the time has come to leave the nest. Go forth from here and find your own path, my dearest student. The days I spent with you were short, but in all my long life, they were the most serene. Oh, thank you. Mistress! And then Guts just came in and picked her up and was taking her. Wait, Black Swordsman, what is this flame that I, a fire dragon, cannot manipulate? My existential form will merely change. We can meet again in your dreams. Whether you grasp the fate before you is up to you. Uh, may your going forth be blessed, sweet beloved child. Farewell, my sunshine. Oh, dude. Then this page right here dude this is hitting me in the feels dude i always get like fucking emotional with like things like that dude fuck farewell my sunshine okay and that's it for this chapter dude next chapter is called demon city i'm like a little bit scared about that <laughs> yeah like demon city yeah, that's making me a little a little bit nervous, just a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's it for chapter two hundred and twenty nine. Um, so the tree and the mistress is about to be burned down, right? Um, let me go back really quick. Okay, yeah, but just like, yeah, it's gonna both her and the tree are gonna go away. Um, Damn, dude. Yeah, but I just love how she was like, she told her it's time for you to like leave the nest. Like it's time for you to go out there and like explore the world, go out there by yourself, find your own path, like leave the nest. Like, you know, I've had you so close to me for all this time. It's now time for you to go out there by yourself. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know. I really, I really dig that line because it, it means a lot. Um, and just her saying that, like, you know, this is someone who has lived, like, a really, really long time. And for her to say that the short amount of time that she spent with this little girl has been, like, the most serene in her entire lifetime is, like, that speaks volumes, dude. It really does. Especially for someone like her who has lived, like, for such a long time. I think that really does speak volumes. Uh, just to, like, how much she cares about uh, Shireke. Whatever. <laughs> um... But yeah, man, and then besides that, Guts, the armor didn't, like, completely consume him, you know what I mean? Um, 
Shurike was uh, was able to like remind Guts like why why exactly he's fighting and stuff like that. You know, he's fighting to protect uh, Casca. You know, he's the protector of Casca now. Um, and like also, I don't know if Guts is like a hundred percent like a hundred percent no like for sure his main goal is like to protect Casca but I wonder if he also feels like that strongly about protecting Yushidoro and Serpico and Farnese as well you know what I mean like I feel like he does but um yeah for sure like his whole goal is now to protect all of those guys now um because they for him they are like maybe not a hundred percent but they are starting to become like the new band of the hawk for for guts you know what i mean like he see he's starting to see all these people as like his the new band of the hawk for him um like in in a sense of like a new family you know what i mean and like he wants to protect that he doesn't want the same shit that happened to the first band of the hawk to happen to these new people that he's starting to you know become a, become attached with you know what i mean um so yeah he definitely wants to protect all of them um in that in that case um so yeah, it was really cool that she had to go in there and like tell him like, yo, this is why you're fighting, dude. You're fighting to protect uh, Casca and all these guys. Like, don't lose sight of that, you know what I mean? And don't like, don't let you know all this anger and hatred overcome you. And don't let that asshole Griffith like be the sole reason why you're fighting, you know what I mean? So it was really cool that she reminded him of all that stuff. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much it for the chapter. And then also Guts's white hair too. Like, I wonder if that's gonna be explained or is that just for him to look cooler? You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this reaction. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next chapter. Peace.